This works. Okay, so what you can do is you can have you can somehow get the videos to everybody to go to the table's Facebook and watch it live. And it doesn't work now. Huh? I'm going to put this back there, but you can tell me to say the good news to everybody that's still in the place. Can you just have that one sound? That one sound? The box cast doesn't work. Oh God, inspiration and guide for all. You have spoken in a thousand tongues for us to hear. In every land and every age, your children have heard you and imagined you in separate ways. And yet, oh God, you are one unifer of humanity. May the teachings of our ancestors live in our minds, and their passion for righteousness draw our hearts. Help us to live so that our daily conduct reveals the beauty and wisdom of your truth. Baruch atah Adonai, kabohir be'amo Yisrael ba'ah hava. Shema Yisrael Adonai. Please be seated. You all may be seated. So from the heavenly Jerusalem to logistics, <laughs> as my friend Yeshai would say, apparently our live stream was not working as it was given out. It has now been moved to Facebook Live on the Temple Beth Shalom website. So 
Is that correct, Mark? Did I say it correctly? On the TBS Facebook page. TBS Facebook page. So Sorry, anybody everyone. you know who is trying to watch this via live stream, it's on the TBS Facebook We're also page. recording it. And it's being recorded for anybody who misses it live at this moment. We're continuing our service with another one of our brilliant Devar Torahs. I'm going to call up Gavin. After countless hours of tutoring and studying, I am so happy we are finally here at Israel. Before I get ahead of myself, I would love to thank everyone who has helped me on this journey. <clears throat> First off, Cantor Nicholson, Cantor Siegel, and every single person that works at Temple of Bashalom who has assisted me every step of the way to this point. I feel so fortunate to be able to share this with my brother and friends in Israel. I've been able to visit Colombia, the country where my mom and many generations of her family is from. But now I get to visit the country where my dad's family's faith, faith has created their own country. I feel grateful to be able to have two completely different cultures in my family. And now that on this trip, I get to experience firsthand the Jewish culture and faith in this country that holds so much history and significance for my family. Okay, now my brother. Uh, yes, the short kid with freckles. The devices were everything I could ask for in a brother and more. I always see other siblings' relationships where they just hate each other, and I just think how grateful I am to have such a great relationship with you. When I'm struggling with my ego, you would always rush to help me. That is not, ev that is not e it. Every time I'm struggling with anything, you are always there. You are just such a great big brother, and you are a huge inspiration to me. And I always just strive to be like you. Now my dad, what can I say but thank you? Thank you for teaching sports. Thank you for being supportive. Thank you for being hardworking, and thank you for being motivated. Finally, thank you for being the best father. Now my mom, where can I even start? There's so much to thank you for, but I will just have to cut some things out. Mom, you've always been there since I was a little child, and you've gone through so much just to make sure I succeed and do well. Anytime I am struggling, you are always there for me when it is either a test, sports, or anything. You're always helping. Mom, you're one of the biggest reasons why I'm able to stand here right now and say to speak. Becoming a bar mitzvah means growing up and taking more responsibility for doing mitzvah. One mitzvah I do every year with my family is making potted plants on mitzvah day for the elderly. I paint the pots, plant, plant fowl, flowers in them, and deliver them to the seniors. Before COVID, I remember that they were very joyful and thankful that we did so something kind to them, even though we didn't know them. This gives me a good feeling, knowing that I'm doing the right thing. Now that I'm a Jewish adult, I'm going to continue to do mitzvah because I love seeing the smiles on people's faces and knowing that I'm spreading kindness and positivity. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Shabbat Shalom! Shabbat Shalom! I will say, when I first came to Israel, I was wondering why we're here for so long, two and a half weeks to be precise. But now, as this trip is coming to a close, I've realized that two and a half weeks isn't even enough time to realize how beautiful Israel is and how glad I am here to come here and celebrate this B'nai Mitzvah with all of my friends here. But what does a Bar Mitzvah, or becoming a Bar Mitzvah, truly mean? Well, Mitzvah is the action of doing a good deed. What most people think is a bar mitzvah is just a celebration for 2013. Well, it's not just that. Bar mitzvah recognizes that I am in the process of being responsible for my own actions. You don't have to be Jewish to do a mitzvah, though. Mitzvot come in many shapes and forms. If you don't want to keep kosher, you can donate food to a shelter. If you can't pray in Hebrew, you can sit in a quiet space for just a minute, say silent prayer, and end the language. It doesn't matter how old you are, what religion you are, or what you look like. Hashem can recognize a mitzvah in whatever form that means. Doing a mitzvah means you're being positive. And I love being positive. <laughs> in fact, this Torah portion revolves around being positive no matter the conditions. The Torah portion begins when God tells us to go scatter the promised land he gave us. 
God sent out 12 spies to check it out. Most of these spies saw the land and thought it was horrible. Not just bad land, but also bad people. But as it turns out, that was a test. Two of the spies, Joshua and Caleb, were the only ones able to go to the promised land because they were just positive about what they saw. But they weren't just positive, they also had hope. And hope in Hashem. Which is the best thing a Jew can do. I love sharing this story because it shows trust. It has a deeper meaning than just a tale about the promised land. It symbolizes about how we should have trust in our lives. In fact, the Torah is teaching us everyday lessons in life that are hidden inside of the story of the past. The Torah teaches us to do right things through the mixed vote and to be grateful for all that we have. Now, I would like to say some thank yous. First, my parents, Chris and Carla. Dad, Huddle, yes, that's his nickname. A man of many names, and a man of many, 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 many pictures. <laughs> if he pulled out his camera roll right now, it would be longer than the Torah. <laughs> But my dad is the safe keeper of memories in this family. And every time he says, come on guys, one more picture, or let me get a time lapse, I know it'll all pay off. You are incredible, and I love you. Mom, the heart lady, subscribe to her on Facebook. <laughs> You've taken care of me my entire life. And yes, your hugs might invade my personal space. <laughs> but I don't care. You are my mom. I need to cherish these moments before I go off to college. I love you so much, and I always will. <clears throat> I'd also like to thank Isaac. He was here by coincidence in Israel visiting, and his family right over there, but he came here to celebrate this B'nai Mitzvah, I thank you. He's over there in the Crimson shirt, by the way. <laughs> <clears throat> Lastly, I'd like to thank my brother, Calder Jacob Sloan. He was the best brother ever. Adventure, laughter, kindness. These three words are the universal symbol stand. In fact, I'm wearing his kippah that he always wore to temple and throughout his life in Judaism. I wear it right now because I always want to be near him and symbolize him. He was amazing with the love of Judaism. And I just want to say, you're the most amazing big brother in the universe of infinite galaxies. Thank you all. You are wonderful. Shabbat Shalom. We're continuing our service on page nine. <laughs> Sing the song of men and women. Join in understanding and respect. The song of God's miracles, an earth protected and cherished, a gift for our children and the generations to come. The song of a land once the ravished by war, now quiet and content, her soldiers home to leave no more. The song of a world redeemed, the song of peace. Who is like you? I don't
Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I want to start off by thanking my mom and my dad for letting me do my bar mitzvah in Israel with all of my friends. I hope that everyone is enjoying this trip to Israel as much as I am right now. This is such a mitzvah to be here right now. Speaking of mitzvahs, I have done many mitzvahs in my life, such as helping retirement homes to have food to, to eat on mitzvah day and going to all of my friends' bar mitzvahs and celebrating the Jewish holidays with my family. My family is very important to me and they have always given me support and self confidence. You may ask, what is, what is self-confidence? Well, self-confidence is the difference between knowing you can do anything and giving up when you see something you assume is too hard. When you do not have the confidence to think you can do something, you often tend to give up. Your mind is telling you not to embarrass yourself. You are, think, you, cannot, you are not thinking of the upside that you can complete the challenge in front of you. There are many different examples of having self-confidence. For me, the example that I would use for self-confidence is a basketball. You have to have the confidence to trust yourself to make the shots that you take. You even have to have confidence to trust yourself to shoot the ball. If, when, when you don't trust yourself, you can be scared to mess up and embarrass yourself. When you play without fear, you attack the basket with strength and you have nothing to lose because you tried your hardest. In the parasha Hashvua on page 30, it states that God sends 12 scouts into what has become the land of Israel. They go in to see if the land can be conquered. Ten of the twelve scouts that went in were ready to give up when they saw that looked like too big of a challenge. They said that they felt like grasshoppers in a world of giants. The other two scouts, Joshua and Caleb, disagreed and stormed into the land. God got, they conquered the land and God proceeded to get mad at the leaders for giving up when they were scared. After they conquered the land, only Joshua and Caleb, the two that had believed in themselves, were allowed in. This shows why confidence is a key in everything we do. Joshua and Caleb believe in, believe in themselves. I know as I get older, there will be many challenges ahead for me. After studying this Torah portion for my bar mitzvah, I have learned that the importance of believing myself and my ability, whether it is on or, on, on or not on the basketball court, in school or the real world, inner strength is the key to success. I want to say that I would not be here today without my family. To Drew, I couldn't imagine a world without you, and I love playing sports and talking about sports with you and making up games on the spot just to simply have fun. Josh, you are the best tech person that I will ever meet, and I've lost track of all the nicknames that you have made up for me, and we continue to <laughs> laugh every time that you make a new one. You help me every time that I have a tech issue, and I don't know how to think. thank you for that. Can you t continue being the best older brother ever? To my dad, you have, you have been my go-to person every time I play sports. Although I will always beat you in basketball, even when I give you an 11 point lead to 12, I love playing. I love when you get mad at any Miami sports teams when they make a bad play. Sometimes you are the funniest person in the world. I cannot ask for a better dad. Mom, you are the one who has helped me my whole life and the person who has planned my whole life in a good way. You are always there when I need help, when I'm mad or sad. It doesn't matter if you are thrilled with what, thrilled with what I'm doing or frustrated. I always know how much you love me and have my best interest at heart. Those are the types of things I love about you. You're the best mom in the world that I can be. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. I would like to thank my parents for allowing me to have this incredible opportunity of becoming a Jewish man and being able to visit this beautiful country of Israel. I would also like to thank all the people that gathered here today from all around the world who experienced this monumental milestone in my life. And although I did not originally write it, I would like to go deeper into thanking my parents and sister. Alessia, thank you for being a great sister. Even though at times we may not have the best relationship, I know I will always have your back. To my dad. Thank you for encouraging me to try my best and challenging me with everything I do in life. And to my mom, thank you for being the most loving mom in the world. Throughout this journey of preparing to become a Jewish man, I have realized that helping others is fulfilling, knowing you have made an impact on others' lives. After hearing, uh, after hearing about everything that was going on in the Ukraine, I felt compelled to do whatever I could to make their lives a little bit better. Because of this, my family and I chose to donate baby food and supplies to help all the women and children who are leaving the Ukraine to take refuge in Poland since they left everything behind and had nothing. In addition to this, in May, my sister and I decided to go work in a food bank in the city of Madrid. We stocked shelves and packed up people's food to bring to their families. Doing this opened my eyes to the fact that people are facing so many struggles and reminded me to appreciate and be grateful for the basic, basic things in life that I take for granted, such as a warm meal and a roof over my head. 
In our Torah potion, despite the fact that ten of the spies were opposed to entering the Promised Land, Joshua and Caleb stood up for what they knew to be right. I have come to the realization that standing up for what's right is a core value that I have, and a fundamental part of who I am. I try my best to be empathetic and compassionate towards everyone, even though at times it is difficult, especially when I notice others don't have the same empathy I have in my heart. Although going against the majority is challenging, I believe in making my own decisions and treating all people with dignity and respect. The values that I believe in have helped me to navigate tough situations in life, such as when my friends want to do something, but I don't believe it is the right thing to do. Then I speak up, as the first, rabbi of, the first chief rabbi of Israel, Rav Cook, once said, I don't speak because I have the power to speak. I speak because I don't have the power to remain silent. This is a motto and message that I'll always try to carry in my heart just as Caleb and Joshua did. Thank you. We're going to continue our service with the chanting of the tefillah on page 10. Uh, I invite you to please rise. And as we do, you know, at Temple Beth Shalom, we always say, we turn and face Jerusalem. And here you are, facing the most beautiful city in the world. So enjoy it. We're going to remain standing for the Kiddushah. We have a little surprise. We want to ask all of the siblings of our B'nai Mitzvah to please join them up front for the singing of Lador Vador when we get to that part. Mm -hmm.
To all generations, we will make known your, your greatness, and to all eternity, proclaim your holiness. Your praise, O oh God, shall never depart from our lips. You may be seated. to be here with you all and to finally visit the Holy Land of Israel. I truly never thought a place could be so beautiful, fun, filled with light, joy, and happiness. These past few days touring have been so fun and amazing, and I'm glad I got to do it surrounded by the people that I love and a bunch of crazy boys. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you to my parents, George Lindemann and Esteban Londoño for taking me to Israel and making all of this possible. I am so grateful for all you do for me and the amount of love you show me and my siblings. You, you both do so much for our family, and I truly appreciate all of it. Thank you to Lisette for taking care of me and treating me like your own daughter. I love you so much, and I have no idea what I would do without you. Thank you to my strong and smart grandma, Frida. No words can describe the amount of love I have for you, and I am so grateful to have you in my life. Thank you to my sister, Beatrice, for always being there for me and being my best friend. I look up to you so much and love you a lot. Thank you to my brother Sam for always looking after me and helping me with my math homework, even though you don't have to. I really, I really appreciate it and probably wouldn't have passed Mr. Siegler's math class without you. <laughs> Thank you to my twin brother Cody for entertaining me and always making me laugh. You're so funny. Lastly, thank you to all my aunts, uncles, and cousins for traveling all the way to Israel just for my special day. I love you all so much. Thanks to all these people who I've just named because of their love, they have given me the confidence to believe in myself and have shaped me into the person I am today. In our Torah portion, Shalaf Gaha, we learn about Joshua and Caleb, who were the only two out of 12 men who had the confidence to speak up for what they believed in and had trust in God. Thanks to their good choices, they were the only ones who got to, go, who got to visit, who got to go to the Promised Land after 40 years of wandering. This relates back to me, because if I have trusted myself in God, good things will come my way. Now that I have become a bat mitzvah, I recognize that my choices matter and I have the ability to influence others by my actions. Thanks to Joshua and Caleb, all of us are here today in Israel because of their bravery and faith in God. What I have learned from this story is that my decisions and actions can make a huge difference to the world. Thank you. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. I'd like to start by thanking a couple of people. First, I'd like to thank my friends for the, memory, for the many memories and good times we have had. Next, I want to thank my coaches that couldn't make it to Israel for their leadership and mentorship. They've been a big part of my life. From the bottom of my heart, I would like to thank Kanner Nicholson, Rabbi Pomerantz, and Kanner Siegel, and our Israeli guides who have made this trip amazing. We have learned so much about Israel and where my people are from. And that's truly been a great experience. I'd like to thank my grandparents, Grammy, Grandpa, and Tom, who have been a big part of my life and guiding me every step of the way. I am so happy they were able to make it all this way. It truly means the world to me. Finally, I'd like to three, thank three most important people in my life. My dad, who's always there when I need him most and has taught me to always be kind, honest, and respectful. I don't know where I would be without you. My mom, who has supported me my whole life. You have done so much for me, I can't even begin to explain how much you mean to me. Whenever I'm with you, you're always making sure I'm having fun and always picking me up when I'm down. I love you so much, and you're the best mom anyone could ask for. To my sister, my best friend, we have, had, we have done everything together since we were kids. The games we have made up when we were bored are some of the best memories I have. I'd probably go insane if I didn't have you. Though you're sometimes an odd, and we do have our differences, you'll always be my best friend. My Torah portion has to... My Torah portion has to do with something called the sin of the spy. It is the story of one se senior figure from each of the 12 tribes being chosen by Moses to go scout the land of Israel. It was the scout's job to collect unbiased information about Israel. Instead, even though the scouts brought back fresh fruit and described the Israel as a land of milk and honey, they also described the country negatively. They described it as dangerous and impossible to conquer. 
Seeing his people frightened by the negative report, God got angry, and the people of Israel suffered. The lesson we need is the power of positivity when we are faced with challenges. Having a positive attitude is crucial in school, sports, and relationships. Believing in yourself, your family, and your teammates is usually the difference between success and failure. As I said earlier, I credit my mom, who has taught me to remove negativity, negativity and approach life with a positive attitude. This, this positivity helps me in sports, school, and in life. Jerusalem. When I mention the name, I see the white Jerusalem of summer, when the brightness is blinding and nearly cruel light is thrown at you from every stone. I see the Jerusalem in the rays of twilight, neither orange nor pink nor purple, which embrace the surrounding mountains and caress its house of stone. We're going to invite our B'nai Mitzvah to rise and lead us in the singing of Ritzay. I just want to say, I can't help but mention that say in ancient days, would be we would be asking God to accept our sacrifices, our animal sacrifices, our wheat sacrifice, our grain sacrifices, and now, in modern days, we ask God to accept our prayers, not our sacrifices, but our beautiful prayers. So let's sing say together. It's a beautiful melody. And if you know it, you can sing it with us on page 13. hard to describe Jerusalem in words, but one has got to feel it. Jerusalem is the source, it is the heart and the spirit. As the late Elie Wiesel said, Jerusalem is the heart of our heart, the soul of our soul. Mojim anak nila, she'ata hu Adonai Eloheinu, velohe avotenu ve'imotenu le'olam ba'et. We pray responsibly. We gratefully acknowledge that you are a God and the God of our people, the God of all generations. You are the rock of our life, the power that shields us in every age. We thank you and sing your praises for our lives which are in your hands, for our souls which are in your keeping, for the signs of your presence we encounter every day, and for your wondrous gifts at all times, morning, noon, and night. You are goodness, your mercies never end. You are compassion, your love will never fail. You have always been our hope. Praise to the eternal God to whom our thanks are due. 
Baruch Atah Adonai Hatov Shimcha Ucha Nae Lechodot. Prayer for the peace of Jerusalem. Our feet are standing at your gates, Jerusalem. Jerusalem, built as a city, bound firmly together. We're tribes. Oh my God. We're tribes once went up to give thanks unto the Lord. We're thrones of justice were once set, thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. May peace be in her walls, tranquility in her towers. May the Lord bless us from Zion. And let us see the good of Jerusalem. Let us see our children's children in peace upon Israel. We continue Robbie's prayer for peace with the singing of Shalom Rav, bottom of page 15. <laughs>
We're going to continue our service on page 16 with Seder Kriyat HaTorah, the service for the reading of the Torah, which is the main event here in Jerusalem on this day, when your children will be called up to the Torah for the first time and become young adults before our very eyes. So I'm going to invite you all to rise as we turn to page 16 for the opening of this Torah service. Tobias, Cody, Georgia, Eli, Luca, Robbie, Jordan. This is the Torah, Israel's Morsha, Israel's sacred heritage and inheritance. And the words that the cantor just chanted, Ki mitzion se Torah udavar Adonai Murushalayim. For from out of Zion will come the Torah and the word of God from Jerusalem. This is the place that, that our tradition says the Torah came from. Now, none of us were at Mount Sinai. None of us remember that moment, but our tradition teaches us that actually every Jew that ever was or ever would be was there at Mount Sinai which means you were there and I was there, but we don't have any memory of that. And so that's what today is all about. This is your moment. I won't say at Sinai, I'll say in Jerusalem. This is your moment to recognize that this precious Torah was written for each one of you and that it has lovingly been passed down from generation to generation so that you would receive it here today. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a hakafa led by Mr. Baranik, and each one of our young adults is going to have the opportunity to hold the Torah as they move around the circle.
Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. On this trip, all of us are scouts, looking at the land of Israel. Our Torah portion, our Torah portion, Shalach Laha, tells the story of the very first scouts who were sent to Israel to see what kind of country it is. Is the soil rich or poor? Are the people who dwell in it strong or weak? The scouts reported back that the land does flow, flow with milk and honey, and wonderful fruit. While staying here, we have all eaten some of those delicious foods that they, say, that they saw thousands of years ago. But those scouts in the Torah were too intimidated by the, by the people who lived there to want to enter the land. Luckily for us, Joshua and Caleb did not listen to those scouts, and the Israelites conquered the land so that we could all be here today. Before coming to Israel, my whole life, I've heard many delightful stories of, people, of the people and the things in Israel. What I recall the best was many people saying the falafels were the best. And they are. I also love the shawarma and the great culture and art designs all the way from the past. With those scouts that came in many years ago, think that some kids from Miami Beach would ever come here for the bar mitzvahs. On this trip, I would like to thank my whole entire family, starting with my mom and my dad. You guys have entrusted me with everything I do throughout my entire life. Zahar and Zia, even though you guys always want to fight me, I still love you. <laughs> I would then like to thank my uncle, my aunt, and my grandparents for, for always believing me in whatever I do. <laughs> Hannah and Ella, you guys have made me happy even in the saddest times and making up crazy games like Sleeping Ninja and others. Nathan, you, I can say I love you in many ways, most being, most being when you play games with me. You always beat me. And last but not least, Cantor Nicholson for dedicating her time to teaching me and my and my friends and preparing us for our bar mitzvahs. Without her help, I would not be able to conquer this challenge for my bar mitzvah. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Thank you all for coming. Thank you to Grandma Marlene and Grandpa Ron, and thank you to Grandma Maria and Uncle David who came all this way from Columbia. I also want to thank my parents for always being there to support me and provide this opportunity for my brother and I to become bar mitzvah in Israel. Special thank you to Kanan Nicholson, Rabbi Pomerantz, and everyone at Temple Beth Shalom for helping me with my Hebrew studies and my preparation. Gavin, you're the best younger brother I could ask for. I feel so lucky that we were so close in age and get to experience this together. You're so funny and always find a way to make me laugh. We've had the best of times together. I love playing tennis with you, taking bike rides, and skiing together when we're on vacation. I wouldn't want anyone else as my brother. Dad, thank you for always being supportive and reliable. You, you've you always been lenient and you have great advice that got me through hard times. You worked so hard for our family and I just want to thank you for all you've done for me. Mom, Mom, you go through so much for this family and although you may not realize it, I appreciate everything you do for us. I haven't expressed my gratitude enough, yet you do all these things with no thanks. My Torah portion talks about the role of being a leader. The spies that were sent to scout out Israel came back with not much to say. They were negative and pessimistic. As a leader, you should never have that negative mindset because it can affect the people you are leading. As a coxswain on a rowing team, I know how it feels to have that leadership role. As a leader, everyone depends on you, and if you lose your confidence or your composure, everything falls apart. In this case, in the Torah portion, as the spies demoralize the people with their negative words. My final thank you is to everyone on this balcony for being here for my bar mitzvah. So each of our B'nai Mitzvah will, will be each calling up their own family members for the Aliyah, anybody they wish to call up. So we're going to begin with Robert. And you can find, you can follow this in your, I don't have the page, Rabbi, but the, for the following of the Torah reading. 17. Page 17. Uh, come on, family, come up. As they're coming up, I just want to say uh, the power of positivity, which so many of our students spoke about. When we came, we didn't think we had a yacht. We were very nervous, and we forgot to bring a yacht. And then we got a yacht, and somehow or another, on this table, there are now three yachts. <laughs> so there you go. You see the positive. Suddenly, they all...
Vaya alu, vaya turu, et ha aret, mimi barsi, ad rehov, levo hamat. Vaya alu, va negev, vaya vo, ad hevro. Vesham, ahiman, sheshai, vetalman. Yeli de, ha anach. Vechevro Sheva Shanim Nif Neta Lifne Soan Mitz Rain Vayavou Ad Nahal Eshko Vayik Ratu Misham Zemora Be Eshko Anavim Ehad Vayiz a uhu vamot bishnayim umin herimonim umin hata enim.
Israel, El Midbar Paran, Kadesha, Vayashivu Otam Davar, Vayakinu Vaet Haaran. Vaisapuru lo vayomaru banu el haaretz asher shalachtanu vagam zavat halal udvash hi vize priya fs hi az haam hayoshev bahar baaretz vaharim the Eretz, the Tzirot, the Dolot, Meod, the Gam, Yelide, Ha'anach, Ra'inu, Sham, Amale, Yoshev, Bahar, the Eretz, Hanegev, the Ha'iti, the Ha'ibusi, the Ha'amori, Yoshev, Bahar. Veha na ani yoshev al hayam. Veel veal yad hayardain. I'd like to call my family up. Nice to see you. 
Thank you. You too. I would not only like to call up my family to the Torah, uh, I'd also like to call up Isaac and his family to the Torah. Shuba Mitraima, by Yipo Moshe, Be'acharon, Alpinehem, 
Baru Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bahar Banu Mikol HaAmim Venatan Lanu Et Torato Baru Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Vayomer Adonai El Moshe Ad Ana Yena Asuni Ha'am Haze Ve Ad Ana Lo Ya'aminu Vi Beko Chauto Asher Asiti Bekirba Akenu Vadever Ve Orishenu Ve Eese Oteha Le Goiga Do Ve Atsum Mimenu Vayomer Moshe El Adonai Veshameu mitraim ki he elita beho haha. Et haam haze mi kirbo. Baru ata adonai, Eloheinu mele haolam, Asher natan lanu torat emet, Vehaye olam nata betoheinu, Baru ata adonai, notain ha torah. Can Scott and Carrie come up? Asher Bahar Banu Mikol Ha'amim Venatan Lanu Et Torah To Baru Hata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Amen Vehem Ata Et Ha'am Hazeh Ke'ish Ehad Vehem Eru Ha'goyim Asher Shem'u Et Shim Aha Lomu Nibyoti Yecholet Adonai להביא את העם הזה אל הארץ אשר נשבע להם. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת והיה עולם נתן בתוכנו ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה family to the Torah.
Amen. Vayomer Adonai, Salahti ki dvarecha. Ve'ulam hai ani, ve'imale chavod Adonai, ez hocha aret. Ki hocha anashi, harohim et kevodi, ve'et ototai, asher asiti, emisraim, ulamidvar. Vainasu oti. Zeh eser pe'anim velo shameu bekoli im yiru et ha'ares asher mishpati la'avotam v'cho mena asai lo yiru ha ve'avdi halev ekev ayeta ruach acheret imo. By Malay, Ahara, Rahabi Oti, El Haaret, Ashaba Hashama, Vesa O Yorishena, Veha Amaleki, Veha Kena Ani Yoshe, Ba Emek, Baha, Penu Usu Lahem, Amid Bar, Terek Damsu. I would like to call up my family as well as Abigail and Paula. Im 
Atem tavo el haaretz asher nasati et yadi leshaken et chem ba chi im kalev in yefune biyushua binu. is the Maftir, the final Aliyah, which is when all of our B'nai Mitzvah will be called to the Torah for their B'nai Mitzvah Aliyah. And if you're following along in your booklets, it is the last page of the Torah reading, which is... 22. 22. 22, beginning with verse... 20, I can't, my glasses aren't that good, but I think it's verse 37. Yahamdu, Yahamdu, Habachurim, Bene Mitzvah, Baliat Torah, Eliyahu Hanan, Ben Michael, Velea, Tovia, Ben Yehuda, Gabriel, Ben Yehuda, Ariella, Bat Gershon, Ezra, Ben Gershon, Meir, Ben, Simcha, Veliora, Adin ben Yehuda, the Ariel, Yisrael ben Gershon, David, Umalka, Esther, Lev ben Yehuda, the Liraz, Khalif ben Bitzalel, Umiriam, he's key, he's Twenty-five. I don't go twenty. I'll do twenty-three. <laughs> Let's 
Metzitzit ur item oto uzkartem et komitvo Adonai viitem vasitem et otam velo tetu achare levavchem veachare einichem asher atem zoni achare. Levan tiskeru vasitem et komitvotai vitem kedoshim lelohechem ani Adonai elohechem asher hotzeiti etem meeretz mitzrayim liot lachem lelohim ani. Adonai Eloheinu Okay, that was a little premature, but that's okay. We'll take it. All right, we're going to invite everybody to please rise for Hagba and Glila as the Torah is lifted. Uh, you can go wherever you want. I just want to. I need to move back because they need a more room. to be seated except for the parents of our B'nai Mitzvah. So the parents of our B'nai Mitzvah have a special blessing for their children on page 23.
So I have a few words for our B'nai Mitzvah, so I, I excuse my back for just a moment because I want to face these beautiful young adults who have led this service with a lot of joy and fun and adventure here in Israel. And uh, like those spies that each of you spoke about so beautifully, you are a community. You should realize from this portion that you're all dependent on one another, that you don't stand alone. And all of you spoke really beautifully about the story of the spies, but there's one thing in your portion that I want to mention to you, and none of you spoke about it, and that is about Joshua ben Nun. So in your Torah portion, his name was changed from Hoshea to Yehoshua. Moses added a Yud to the first part of his name, the smallest letter of the alphabet, but it is part of God's name. So Moses added that Yud and changed his name from Hoshea to Yehoshua. And that marked his transition to be a leader of the Jewish people. And today, while your names are not changed by being here and becoming B'nai Mitzvah, you do transition in your lives to be young adults. From this moment on, responsibility is on your shoulders. It's no longer on your parents' shoulders. And my hope and prayer is that you too have transitioned, have made a change, that this trip, this experience, has left a mark on you, that it's deepened your soul, that it's expanded your mind, that it's softened your heart, and made you feel like part of our community, and that this tradition is yours to embrace, and one day, God willing, pass on to the next generation. And so it's now my great pleasure to bless you all. I'm going to ask you all to come up and to gather around, and I'm going to ask Let's see, Mark and Cantor to hold my talit over your heads. Okay, so I bless you in the words of the ancients. This actually comes from the Torah portion that was our Torah portion when we arrived in Israel. It is the blessing of the ancient priests. And I bless you with these words. Yibarechaka Adonai Vishbarecha. May God bless you and keep each one of you. Ya'er Adonai Panavelecha Vikunecha. May God's light shine on you and shine through you and always be gracious to each and every one of you. May God's presence always be with you and grant you a lifetime of good health, of love, of joy, and of peace and wholeness. And let us all say, Amen. Amen.
turn to words of Kaddish on page 26. And for a moment of solemnity, I know that many of you here have others who you wish were here, who are very much still a part of your lives, who helped to shape you into who you are, and therefore help to shape these young people into who they are. So if there's somebody special who you are remembering at this moment, I'll invite you to just wave your hand to share that name with all of us. Thank you. Kim Wannis and uh, this one's very important and I just lost it, but uh, Connie Scott. Anybody else on this side? May their memories be a blessing to all of you who knew them and loved them. And together we recite these words of praise and gratitude for their lives. Yit barak vi ishtabak vi pa'ar vi ramam vi nase vi hadar vi talav vi talal shmej krusha brihu la ela min kol birkata vi shirata tush bakata vi nakamata namiran vi alma vi ru amen vi he shlama raba min shmaya vi chayim alenu vi kol yisrael vi ru amen o se shalom vi ramav hu ya se shalom. Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael ve'imru. Amen. May the author of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort all who are here and all who are bereaved everywhere with God's blessing of peace. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. So, I just want to say that um, we did not bring certificates and gifts to Israel to present to our young adults because we didn't want them to get all smushed. Uh, but they will be waiting for you at home. And in those certificates, young people, are certificates to high school in Israel and NIFTI in Israel, the opportunity to return to Israel after confirmation in 10th grade with your peers and to experience Israel in an entirely different way. And the message there is that we want you to remain with us, to study with us, to keep growing with us and learning with us. We wish you could too, Luca. And, um, and come back to Israel after 10th grade and spend even more time here and learn even more. So mazel tov to all of you. We are going to conclude our service this evening with Havdalah, the ritual which ends Shabbat and begins a new week. And I know we're going to take a lot of sweetness with us from this precious Shabbat into the week ahead. And the symbols of Havdalah are the wine for sweetness and joy, the candle which is braided together just as our lives and our families have been braided together by our experience together, and the rosemary, I think, or spices, some kind of delicious spices, which remind us to breathe in the sweetness of Shabbat throughout the week ahead. So I'm going to invite you all to rise for this and put your arms around each other as the cantor leads us in song and prayer.
See if I can shave it. You want to keep it going? One minute and then we're finished. Sign off. And see you later. Thanks for joining us. Good night, Modesto. Good